What's up guys? I hate that I broke this up into two videos, but I didn't realize it until after I'd already ended my last video on the flask fight challenge. Apparently they've made changes to the daily coin adventure as well. Um, it looks to be the same, same setup as the flask fight and our brainiac challenges. Two of two daily attempts. And this one's live, so you know, let's just go ahead and do it. So I have to use a pea shooter. We'll put him in for aloe vera, why not? 350 zombie power, it's not going to matter. But let's go ahead and check this out. This is cool, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. The other daily coin adventure, I did not like as much. I know you could get a bunch of coins and all that, and it was great, and it was much needed. But, they made it almost pay to win. Um, you could, you had to spend gems to, to fully complete the, um, the adventure, which I did not like. And I generally stopped at the thousand coin level every time because I just didn't want to spend my gems. I wanted to spend my gems on other stuff. So I think I like this a little better. We're going to see the numbers and see if I make, if I can get more coins this way versus the last way or, or whatever we're going to do. But um, I, right now, initially, just opened it up. I think I like this a whole lot better. I think this is a great addition. Especially if it saves your progress. And I can just keep doing, like, level 10 once I get there over and over and over again. I feel like I can get some good coins going on. I actually didn't even go look and see what the rewards were for level 10. 182 coins. So see, now... It's going to be less because a normal daily coin adventure, I'm usually getting 2,000 coins or so. And I'm not going to get that today, obviously. But if you get up to 10,000 to 1,250, you can do it twice a day. So I feel like you're going to come out ahead once you get to battle 10. As long as we can meet the requirements. You're going to come out way ahead doing this. You just have to get there. It's going to be a slow process, but as soon as you get there... I really think we're going to come out ahead and have a lot more coins this way. Uh, Lightning Reed, I'm going to go ahead and put my aloe vera back in because I have a terrible memory. And I'm bad about changing it for like Ballpark Frank and the Brainiac Showdowns and then going into the arena and picking a team that I know I can beat. But I'm using that stupid Ballpark Frank team with a bunch of underleveled stuff and I lose. And I hate that. And then I have to win twice as much to get all those trophies back. And it, it's just a pain. So if we can avoid that, that would be great. So long story short, I'm going to put aloe vera back up. Because I've done that far too many times. And I've wasted so many points. It's, it's insane. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and knock this out. Taco, maybe back. Taco, taco, taco. And taco. Okay. And we're really just killing time. Like, the zombie power is so low. They don't judge you on five stars. So, I'm just throwing stuff out just to have something to do, more or less. I'll knock this out pretty quick. Fun away. Just throw some plants out there just for fun. We got a snack for that. Okay. That's it. So that's our daily coin adventure for today. What do we get? 219 coins. Not too shabby. So it sucks for today. We're done for today. But we come back tomorrow. And I can't even preview what that is or what the, the top level is. I don't think, anyway. What does this say? Wow, I'm clicking. Come on, there we go. Earn coins every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. So they're breaking this down into three times a week now as well. Which is fine. It sucks that we have to wait until next Saturday to complete level 10. So that's going to really slow down the coins, but um, that's okay. We're going to be okay. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll work on the flasks tomorrow. Maybe we'll see a uh, hot sauce one 
the day after that. Who knows? Thank you guys for watching.